Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to learn uh, how to solve a Fourier series for limit minus pi to plus pi. So there are three cases. Uh, first case, uh, neither even nor odd. Second case, uh, when the function is even function. And the third case is when the function is odd function. So, uh, the case when uh, the function is neither even nor odd uh, is the case when f of x which is equal to x square plus x. So, when you put x is equal to minus x, your function will be minus x the whole square plus minus x. So, this is x square minus x. So, you cannot represent as a minus f of x or f of x. So, this kind of functions are neither even nor odd okay the next kind of function is even function for example if f of x which is equal to cos x so when f of x is equal to cos x when you put f of minus x your function will be cos of so cos of minus x which is equal to cos of theta itself so cos of x itself so this can be written as f of minus x which is equal to function of x and this function is known as even function. Okay, now odd function when your function of x which is equal to suppose a uh, sin x is there. So f of minus x will be sin of minus x and sin of minus x is minus sin x. So your function of minus x will be minus function of x and this kind of function is known as odd function. So we will solve here uh, the first case when it is neither even nor odd then we will solve the case when the function is even function and the function is odd function. So you can see the previously uploaded video where I mentioned uh, even function and odd function concept video is there so you can watch that video and understand the concept. Uh, but the case uh, when neither even nor odd in a Fourier series, uh, you can see Fourier series is what f of x you can convert into a0 by 2 plus summation a n cos nx plus summation b n sin nx where n goes to 1 to infinity where n goes to 1 to infinity. So, when the case of neither even nor odd, so you have to find all constant like a0, an and bn value. When the function is even function, you only have to find a0 and an value. And the function when it is odd function, you have to find only bn value. Okay, because in this part a0 which is equal to 0, an which is equal to 0. In this part even function, bn is equal to 0. You can watch the previous video where I mentioned how it is uh, an value will be 0, how bn value will be 0 for even function and an and a0 value will be 0 for odd function. So let's start the first question of uh, this series that is neither even nor odd then we will go for even function and then we will understand the odd function. So let's start. So let's start uh, first question. Uh, find Fourier series for f of x which is equal to e raised to power x in limit minus pi to plus pi. So when uh, the limit is minus pi to plus pi, first we will check the function is even or odd. So when we put f of minus x, it will be e raised to power minus x. So this is the function neither even nor odd. Okay. So let's convert this Fourier series. So f of x which is equal to a0 by 2 plus summation a n cos n x plus summation b n sin n x where n goes to 1 to infinity. Okay, so value of a 0 will be 1 upon pi minus pi to plus pi function of x dx. So value of a0 this is equal to 1 upon pi 
minus pi to plus pi f of x is e raised to power x dx and again 1 upon pi e raised to power x integration is e raised to power x itself and the limit is minus pi to plus pi and when you put the limit so 1 upon pi e raised to power pi minus e raised to power minus pi upper limit minus lower limit and this will be our final answer if you want to convert you can convert into hyperbolic function so you can write multiply by 2 and divide it by 2 so this will be equal to e raised to power pi e raised to power minus pi divided by 2 and this is equal to 2 upon pi and this is what negative sign inside so this is sine hyperbolic pi okay so this is final value of a0 now we will find value of a n so value of a n will be uh, first we will write the formula 1 upon pi minus pi to plus pi f of x cos nx dx here we have a function of x which is equal to e raised to power x cos nx dx now it is exponential and one trigonometric formula is there so we have to use the formula of e raised to power ax cos bx so if you are not aware i'll write the formula e raised to power ax cos bx inside the integration the value will be e raised to power ax a square plus b square and you can write a cos bx plus b sine bx okay so this is the formula where value of a is equal to 1 and value of b is equal to n so we will put over here so 1 upon pi e raised to power ax so value of a is 1 so 1 is square plus e raised to power bx means n is square a cos bx means 1 cos nx plus b sin bx n sin nx okay and the integration limit is minus pi to plus pi so when you put upper limit it will be 1 upon pi e raised to power first we put upper limit so e raised to power pi n square plus 1 yeah you can write 1 1 plus n square cos nx so we have to put x is equal to pi so it will be cos n pi plus n sin n pi okay i'll write the value then i'll solve then negative of e raised to power minus pi divided by n square plus 1 and the lower limit is minus pi so cos minus n pi so cos of minus theta is cos theta itself so it i'll write cos n pi uh, plus sine minus n pi so sine of minus theta is minus sine theta so i'll write minus n pi okay uh, we have to solve this upper limit and lower limit we will use that formula uh, if you know that uh, cos n pi so this is equal to minus 1 raised to power n you can say cos 2 n pi will be positive and if n is odd number so it will be negative okay uh, and sin n pi it is always equal to 0 so we will use this formula and solve further integration so this is equal to 1 upon pi e raised to power pi n square plus 1 cos n pi so now you know that cos n pi is minus 1 raised to power n sin n pi minus pi divided by n square plus 1 and again cos n pi so cos n pi is minus 1 raised to power n and sin n pi will be 0 okay so we just solve this term so this is equal to minus 1 raised to power n is a cons constant in the both part and n is square plus 1 is square pi and inside we have e raised to power pi minus e raised to power minus pi okay so now again we can put as a hyperbolic function so this is equal to 2 into minus 1 raised to power n divided by n square plus 1 pi sine 
hyperbolic this is value of a n now we will find value of b n to find value of b n we will write 1 upon pi minus pi to plus pi f of x sin nx dx now our f of x is uh, e raised to power x so 1 upon pi minus pi to plus pi e raised to power x sin nx dx now we have to use the formula of e raised to power ax sin bx so i'll write the formula since e raised to power ax sin bx dx in integration so this will be equal to e raised to power ax a square plus b square a sin bx minus b cos bx so here value of a is equal to 1 and value of b is equal to n so this is equal to 1 upon pi and integration of this part e raised to power x a square plus b square means 1 square plus n square a cos a sin bx so a means 1 so 1 sin nx minus b cos bx value of b is n so n cos nx and the integration limit is minus pi to plus pi so we will apply the limit upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit is e raised to power pi 1 plus n square and when you put pi here so i'll just write the value so it will be sin n pi minus n cos n pi this is my upper limit minus lower limit e raised to power minus pi 1 plus n square sin n minus pi so this is sin of minus theta is minus sin theta so minus sin n pi and cos of minus theta is cos theta itself so this is equal to cos n pi so this is my lower limit so upper limit minus lower limit but to solve this equation or this function we know that sin n pi which is equal to 0 and cos n pi which is equal to minus 1 raised to power n equal to 1 upon pi and we will solve the upper and lower limit so e raised to power pi 1 is square plus n is square cos n pi is minus 1 raised to power n and sin n pi is 0 so minus 1 raised to power n this is upper limit and the lower limit is e raised to power minus pi 1 plus n square and this is 0 minus n minus 1 raised to power n lower limit okay so now 1 upon pi 1 plus n square is common term and you can see n 1 raised to power n is also common so what we have inside we have inside is e raised to power pi minus e raised to power minus pi. okay so bn value final bn so final bn value is minus 1 raised to power n pi 1 plus n square sin hyperbolic pi to it so this is value of a and b and and a zero so let's combine this value and find Fourier series so you can see this is value of a zero a n and b n value uh, value of a zero is this 2 upon pi psi hyperbolic pi value of a n is 2 minus 1 raised to power n n square plus 1 divided by pi 
and sine hyperbolic pi and similarly we can see the value of bn so we have to put this all value a0 an and bn in this formula and equation number one you can assign and we have to put this all value in equation number one and then we can convert our function into series of sine and cosine so let's see how we find the value of f of x in terms of sine and cosine so you can see I have noted down all the value of a0, an and bn in the formula. So f of x which is equal to a0 by 2. So a0 by 2 summation an cos nx plus summation bn sin nx. So value of a0 is 2 upon pi sin hyperbolic pi. Value of an I have put here and cos nx value of bn sin. bn is here bn sin nx. Okay, so now what we have to do now we have to uh, solve this and series where we have to put value of n is equal to 1 2 and infinity. So let's see how we can convert exponential x into this series. So f of x which is equal to e raised to power x 1 upon pi sine hyperbolic pi and here we can take constant out of the series so 2 sin hyperbolic pi divided by pi and what we have inside the series form like n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to power n cos nx divided by n square plus 1 plus the second form is 2 sin hyperbolic pi and divided by pi and you can take negative sign also and in series we have n is equal to 1 to infinity what remaining value n minus 1 raised to power n sin nx divided by n square plus 1 so when we put n is equal to 1 2 3 like this we can find the series So you can see the series when n is equal to 1 minus cos x 1 square plus 1 so that is 2. When n is equal to 2 the value will be positive cos 2x divided by 5. When n is equal to 3 the value will be negative cos 3x divided by 3 square that is 9 divided by 10 and so on. In a sign series uh, this term is common for cos and sin series uh, just negative difference is there so in a sin series when n is equal to 1 so negative sin 1x divided by 1 square plus 1 so that is 2 and when n is equal to 2 so you can see the value will be positive 2 sin 2x divided by 2 square plus 1 that is 5 when n is equal to 3 so the sign will be negative so minus 3 sine 3 x divided by 10 so this is our final answer and how we convert exponential x into minus pi to plus pi series this is how we convert exponential x into a series form like cosine and sine where the limit is minus pi to plus pi the, but the function is neither even nor odd so you have to find all the value a0 an and bn in the next video lecture we will see how to solve even function in limit minus pi to plus pi stay tuned thank you so much